So how are you going guys? This is like the third time I filmed the video. I accidentally deleted one video. Uh, the video that I originally recorded on my camera was uh, terrible because when I changed it to autofocus because of the gimbal, thought that the autofocus would help. Turns out that it changed the resolution of everything and it's uh, it's only the small screens. <laughs> How you doing guys? I'm sorry, I'm playing with the gimbal again and like this thing's I, I say this thing gets out some smooth shots like this this thing is pretty good and Because it moves back and forward and side to side so much it um I have to have it on autofocus today's video is supposed to be about cleaning the exoterra enclosures and uh, What's the easiest way to clean them? Because nobody likes cleaning these enclosures especially when somebody else has had their animals in it um, and the exoterra ones are glass i asked if i could high pressure clean them and everybody well not everybody but a few people said that they're quite fragile so i was like whatever i'll give it a shot so i cleaned them earlier today and uh, there's, there's been no problem with them. I'm gonna let them dry and see how much uh, of the frog feces that actually came off and see how well it holds. But the big exciting news for today, the reason why you guys are all here is because I am gonna run you through my future reptile room. Well, future animal room, I should say. So I've decided that I need to uh, start posting a lot more about this shed because it's not getting done uh, simply for the fact that I've never done anything like this before and I'm quite nervous about it. Um, but I mean, pff, I've poured so much time and money into it already, I may as well finish it and just see where it goes. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, if it doesn't work for fish, it'll definitely work for reptiles because the reptiles don't require such a specific room heat. Um, so worst case scenario, this ends up having a few fish tanks in it and a heap of reptiles and just turn it into a massive man cave recording studio, whatever. I mean, this is a very rushed video because yeah, like it's way past video making time. I'm just trying to rush through it. I have no idea. I'm, but yeah, um, every time that I step into this shed, I get very nervous if you cannot tell because we've, we've put a lot of time and a lot of money into this shed already and, um, I need to put way more time and a little bit more money into it because most of the money's been spent. <sighs> and uh, yeah, to get it done. So let's just get it done because I just need to rip the band-aid off this and hopefully it works really well. Plans are to have a fish tank, well a wall about here. Fish tanks running all down that wall in racks. Uh, the big tanks at the end and then maybe a big pond down there. And then over here we're going to have a workbench with a sink. Uh, maybe the IBC container might be up there so the IBC container will be in this room and then hopefully that will help with the heat. We've got a aircon that will be going up uh, probably up there and maybe a ceiling fan there and a ceiling fan over here somewhere and then another ceiling fan which will be in here which will be the reptile room this is the reptile room the reptile room at the moment may not look very pretty but one day it'll be beautiful it's got the uh, two motorbikes and the scaffolding in it so it is even though it is small let me get rid of this light even though it is fairly small, um, it's still quite large here. Like you've got the two motorbikes, the scaffolding and the two door panels over there in it. Um, but it's not the floor space, it's the height. The roof is 3.1 meters to the tin and then to these beams is, uh, is three meters. And then you add this on, it'll be 2.9 meters to the roof. So um, there'll be a lot of height for it. Sorry about the bad quality video. Um, it's been very rushed and I'm kind of over it. My back's a little bit sore, so I'm a bit grumpy. But yeah, I think I'm gonna need to kick my butt into gear about doing this uh, shed, eh? Because that's really what everyone wants to see. And then when it all gets in here, we do a giant reptile tour and a giant fish tour, a giant animal room tour in this giant shed. Like, yeah, I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Let's do it. All right. Take it easy guys, stay awesome and remember you can't fail if you try. See you later.